This video has been brought to you by the Landscape Certified Contractors Association. Due to the membership support, we're able to bring content to each and every one of you. If you have a topic or a product you'd like us to review, or if you want to become a member, visit www.irrigatortech.com and hope to hear from you soon. Enjoy the video. Hello, this is Brandon Burgess with the Irrigator Technical Training School, and today we're going to go over Reduced Pressure Principle Troubleshooting. Now that I've determined that my relief valve opening point is higher than 2 psi differential, I'm going to go ahead and check my number 2 check valve to make sure that it's holding tight. So I take my bypass hose, connect to the bypass section on my differential pressure gauge. Uh, connect this to number 4. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to take my high side pressure using my control valve. And I'm going to force it behind the second check valve. And by doing this, I'm going to check and make sure that during a back pressure issue, my number 2 check valve can hold tight. So I open up my number 4 test top. What I'm going to do is I'm going to use my low side bleed needle valve and I'm going to go ahead and bleed out and re-establish pressure in my zone. Now that I'm up at the apparent, I'm going to go ahead and turn my bypass knob one full turn to make sure that my number 2 is holding tight. One full turn here. And you can see I dropped to my relief valve opening point. I'm getting discharged. That means that my number two check valve is not holding tight with back pressure, and we failed the number two check. So what you want to do is remove your equipment. You're going to go ahead and need to make repairs before you can move on.